moon stricken, animal in need, bad seed, untamable. Um, yep, this is a new channel. I'm just flushing out content. I'm gonna get right into the point here. Um, this video is gonna be about if like you're a new or even a returning player, and maybe you haven't farmed in a while for new stuff, and maybe you don't have the best stuff in the game. Um, I'm gonna show you what I would consider to be a couple shortcuts and ways that you can uh, really get to it. Um, yep, so uh, maybe this is gonna be a build video. So here's the thing, M1s, they're really, they're, they're really strong. Uh, the accuracy on these things are just, you're just gonna laser if you're hitting a, a head glitcher, then you're, it, it's really gonna be getting done here. Um, now this is where I'm gonna go. So people are always grinding for those like best in slot pieces. Um, now I'm gonna show you an example of two pieces. It's gonna be Providence backpack and Providence chest piece. Now these things are sought after to get really good versions. Um, so I feel like what people are looking for here is you see where I have headshot damage. Instead of headshot damage, I feel like they want crit chance. Okay, same same with this piece. Instead of where I have headshot damage, people want crit chance. Um, if you don't have like, if you get like a rainbow roll or something like that, you're, it's really bad, right? Right. Well, here's the thing. With my in particular build, uh, the way that I run it and I have it set up, I always have someone giving me crit chance or I'm giving myself crit chance from this, this 25 crit chance coyote. So I have 35 crit chance which is going to be too much crit chance because 35 and then i'm going to give myself 25 100 percent of the time or i'm going to be having someone give it to me 100 percent of the time is going to give me 35 plus 25 which is going to make me do some math and that's going to give me 60 uh, it's going to give me over 60 crit chance which is too much by 0 0.4 which not on top of that is I'm either going to assign someone else to give me this extra 10% crit chance but you know sometimes one may not be up so one's not going to be up maybe perhaps so it is good to still have you know some or yeah so here's the thing that I'm getting at that's why I am looking for I'm not looking for the crit chance version of this. Um, I'm looking for the more more headshot damage here. Okay, so here's what I'm getting at. If you're new or you're returning, you're gonna come across a lot of rainbow rolls, okay? And it's gonna take you a while to get best in slot stuff, especially if you are looking for like basically this with the crit chance like I've been describing. So the thing for you is I wouldn't even worry about the crit chance if you just want to jump straight into having some some big damage let's say you get a providence backpack that is rainbow rolled all you basically have to do is roll crit hit damage on it and let's say that this headshot damage is skill haste or you know a 10,000 health it doesn't really matter much you're gonna be out seven headshot damage yeah, end game, min max, sure, headshot damage can be good, but your main focus is going to be that crit hit damage. So, um, it's going to be the same thing with the armor. Let's say you're struggling to get, you know, this armor. You know, I think, um, I think, uh, I think I found these earlier. You know, here's a perfect example. I was farming some Providence earlier, and I got this chest piece. I just haven't, haven't deconstructed it yet. Um, so here's the thing. Let's say you got this. Now, this isn't good. It's not good, but it could be good. You could use it good if you wanted to. You know, all you would have to do is take one of these yellow or blue stats and roll it to crit hit damage. And you're not, you, you're not going to be crippled at all. You're still going to be hitting, you know, just fine. You're still going to be hitting just fine. Me and you would be posting basically very similar numbers. It's, it's not you know going to be a huge difference so yeah um you know focus on getting that weapon and crit hit damage um here's an example of my holster you know people would be going crit chance there now if you ever are running into a spot where 
uh, you have crit chance, I would just completely sacrifice your crit chance and just go straight into that crit hit damage and just simply throw on a coyote's mask. Um, if you don't have a coyote's mask and you can't get the crit chance for yourself, there is kind of an issue um, with that. But I think that people got these, I think people like automatically get these for free at like a certain level or something like that. So uh, I could be wrong, but if not, just level up there. And I would also like to say that like you could get, I could get more damage out of this build by not running coyotes. And I could get, you know, I could put my third piece of providence right here in place of this uh, coyotes and that would give me more crit hit damage. And then I could have someone already assigned to a role to give me that 25 chance so sometimes honestly it's just a little communication with your group saying hey is you know are people running coyotes just saying saying something simple like that like hey we need to make sure we have someone running coyotes to give us that that extra extra damage um and it may not seem like it but you know someone giving that 25 chance to a group is going to make big 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 damage especially you know for people who may not have best in slot gear triple god rolls you know i still don't have triple god rolls and i play a lot so yeah i would consider that to be a, um, a little bit of shortcuts here um i would still go with you know damage to armor damage to target out of cover these are two things that you know i think you're you're going to want to farm they are best in slot um if you don't have them you could still you know rock the three piece providence here and then you're pretty much good um it is going to be less damage but hey with you utilizing all this information you can still make a strong enough build to um you know come in clutch in legendary you know just stay back 25 meters and just you know you're not even getting shot you're just running glass cannon they're like no don't run glass cannon but you're just staying in the back shooting everything from a distance you're, you're not even getting harassed um so yeah that's going to be um a really big point too and i would go with m1 i you know m1 just got nerfed a few times um there's some other ones that have got buffed too honestly i would still go with the classic m1 um, I don't really want to get too much into it, but like This thing is just a laser compared to some of the other things that might have like higher rpm um You know that higher rpm is going to I feel like it makes me miss shots Maybe I'm just a potato. I don't know you should use what works for you, but this this is more like a laser for me um, there's it's, it's vertical and horizontal recoil and just all that nonsense. It's just it's it, it makes my life easier um when i'm using the other one my gun's jumping around i gotta compensate for a recoil and i gotta try and i'm like oh my goodness and then i feel like i'm not spamming my finger fast enough and it's just um it, it's not even doing as much damage when i compare it to my classic m1 and i feel like you know there's just so many things i would just I would I would go with the classic M1. It's it's you know, I forget what it. Is. I think it's like the classic uh, QB something QB the other M1. Yeah, I, that's the one I'm mainly referring to. But yep, so that is going to be a shortcut for you, and it's it's just going to come in clutch. Make sure you're doing it and. You're just going to do tons of damage. Um, other than that, you know, if you want a versatile build, you know, I would probably just throw a really cheap, like, skill build together and, you know, roll some damage on it and you'll be fine there. That way, you know, you kind of have some versatile. You can run both things. As for your specialist here, what am I running? Um, here I'm running demo. You know, I, I really think this depends on where you're going to be at. Like, if you're in the raid, demo is really good. I'm sorry, if you're in the new raid, I feel like demo's going to be really good because of one thing here, and that's going to be um, this right here, Brace for Impact. Ignore explosions can be triggered once every 60 seconds. This thing is so clutch in the new raid because, like, there's just explosions everywhere and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the main reason why 
is just because of this. But my, my main point here is, is that I changed my specializations and you know, I change a lot of things based on what content I'm attacking. Um, like when I'm doing legendaries, I always run uh, survivalists for uh, the crossbow. It one shots heavies. Um, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I run different specialists. So just keep that in mind. And yep, if you like the content, if you like the information, if you're new and just joining back, uh, check out my channel. There's uh, a lot of other videos I have. Uh, yep, like and subscribe, and I'm going to try to uh, put uh, more content out for you. Yep, this is 8. Take it easy. Be safe.